Hey guys, it's Christina. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to this birthday episode. Um, it's my birthday. No, uh, it's actually my birthday tomorrow. I thought it would be fun, as crazy people do think things are fun, um, to cook dinner for 11 to 12 people as part of my birthday celebration. So that's what we're doing. Uh, this is what I look like now. I will show you what my face looks like by the end of it because I'm sure there will be regrets. But um, yeah, I'm super excited. Um, I'm going to show you what I'm cooking um, and I think it's going to be super fun. Um, so for appetizers, I'm going to do some Brussels sprouts, a vegan charcuterie board, some bruschetta, and a couple other small things. And then um, for dinner, I'm going to do a vegan baked ziti with um, tofu ricotta and um, Beyond Meat. really wanted Impossible, but um, couldn't find it. So Beyond it is. Um, and then for the sides, just a simple green salad, some roasted potatoes, and some roasted broccoli. And then um, I passed off dessert to my friends because there's one thing you should know about me. It's that I don't like baking. So, and I also don't really have a sweet tooth as much as I would say I have a savory one. So dessert never interests me too much. But yeah, I'm so excited. I'm gonna get like right into it. Um, I probably won't show you the details, the detailed steps of everything, but I will show as much as I can and explain as much as I can. And yeah, it's gonna be super fun. So to the food. So for this dinner, I really wanted to make sure I had everything prepped um, and I wasn't cooking as people arrived, cooking, chopping, whatever. So my first step was I actually microwaved in those steamable bags some broccoli. I don't know why I forgot what vegetable that was for a second. Some broccoli and then we'll just let that sit in the fridge so then it was already kind of prepared to go and just heat up and season uh, around dinner time. But then my next step was also to prepare everything that needed some time to sit in the fridge, marinate or whatever, or what could be prepped easily ahead of time and then just put out on the table when it was ready. So this is the part of the prep where I prepped my bruschetta. How many times can I say prep in this voiceover? Anyway, so to prep my bruschetta, um, I just cut up some Roma tomatoes. These were about eight Roma tomatoes. I put them in a sieve, a strainer of some sorts. You could do that. I just let it sit in my sink. You could do like a sieve over a bowl. That might be better. And I salted the tomatoes. Don't over salt them because obviously the salt is going to make the tomatoes salty, but the point of the salt is to also just get as much juice out of the tomatoes as possible. So yeah, salted the tomatoes, let them kind of let, release their liquids for about like 10 minutes. Then I marinated them with some basil, so some balsamic, and that was good to go. You could do olive oil and garlic too, but I was trying to keep things a little bit lighter and maybe not so garlicky because there's going to be a lot of like heavier stuff in the actual dinner. So just wanted to keep that nice and fresh and bright. And speaking of, this is also the part where I prepared my side salad. I just did some bell peppers, some cucumbers, and a spinach arugula mix in a big bowl. And then, yep, plastic wrap over that as well and let that sit in the fridge until it's ready to serve with my ziti. Um, don't dress it, obviously, because then I'll get wealthy and no one likes that. So then I made a honey mustard dipping sauce for some pretzels that I was going to serve. It was super simple. It was just some Dijon mustard, ranch, syrup, apple cider vinegar, and good to go. And then I also made a fake tartar sauce because I didn't have vegan mayo, so I used just ranch and lemon juice. And then, yeah, that was all I did for kind of like my prep round, and it was on to the baked ziti. I started making my tofu ricotta. I use Sweet Simple Vegan's recipe. It's my favorite. It's so simple and so good. Just a block of tofu, garlic, olive oil, lemon juice, nutritional yeast, and some miso paste, and then blend into deliciousness and yeah you could season it however you like I think I just did some basil and Italian seasoning my pasta water is boiling I have some onion sauteing and then I'm going to add this beyond meat this is my first time using beyond ground it is uh, 
something. Okay. Like, I, I know it's going to be good, but I'm nervous. Um, I really wanted Impossible. Not that I've cooked with Impossible ground either. I don't really ever buy these things. Like, I've had them, but I don't usually buy them, um, like, to cook at home. So, I'm going to be intrigued how this turns out. When I, I test tested this recipe out, and I actually did it with mushrooms, which was, like, quite tasty, but I have a lot of people coming over, and I just feel like statistically there had to have been a, at least one person in the group that didn't like mushrooms, so I was like, I'm just not going to do a veggie thing. I'll just do the impossible or the beyond meat. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it cooks up. So to half of a white onion that I chopped up and sauteed for about 10 minutes on low to medium heat, I added my Beyond Meat. Um, at first I was nervous, as I said, because it really wasn't looking too much like meat or like really that appetizing, to be honest. But um, yeah, the more I cooked it, the more it really did just cook up like regular meat, it started smelling really good. Uh, by the time it was done, tasted really good. And yeah, I would highly recommend if you are so inclined to splurge on a meat alternative. Beyond meat cooked up. Adding the butter is probably overkill because even though this is less fat than regular beef, it's still a lot of fat. But honestly, you know what? Sometimes you need the extra insurance and butter makes everything taste better. And this tastes really good. I added some salt, pepper, onion powder, and umami seasoning and it tastes fantastic. Here's my pasta. It's just a little bit undercooked because um, it will finish cooking in the oven and my tofu ricotta is sitting here ready to go so yeah I'm just gonna wait for everything to kind of come to like a cooler temp and then uh, assemble my ziti so you can assemble your ziti in like really whatever pan you have I think like a casserole dish or like a large baking pan is probably more common but I have this pan that I really like because um it has, well, it's good for the stove, it's oven proof, and then it has like a lid, so it's really easy to store any leftovers in, and just like, I just find it really convenient. But yeah, I just assembled my ziti. My layers were a little bit of sauce at the bottom, then the pasta, some of the mozzarella, vegan mozzarella, use whatever brand you want. This was just Walmart brand, because I was at Walmart. Um, And then my Beyond Meat layer, and then sauce, pasta, ricotta, and mozzarella again, and then repeat. So that is sauce, pasta, ricotta, meat, repeat. Um, I always like forget what order, and I honestly don't really even think it matters that much. Um, I will say if you're going to use the sweet, simple, vegan tofu ricotta recipe, or even just if you have maybe slightly a more watery block of tofu, and your uh, tofu ricotta is like on the thinner side don't overdo it like I would put just small dollops on and then see how much it spreads because you would be shocked at how little of this tofu ricotta goes the whole way I didn't even use the whole block of tofu for this recipe and it served you know the 12 people that were at this party um that being said though this recipe really is only a six serving uh recipe for baked ziti but um with all the apps and desserts and stuff, I felt like only making one pan was big enough, and I was right, so yay me, because I was this close to making two pans of it, and that would have been a mistake. But yeah, this was really therapeutic to make, actually, and it came together fairly quickly. I, And if you did use a veggie alternative instead of the Beyond Meat, it would also be incredibly uh, cost-efficient and affordable in a great meal prep recipe and you could um even like do like a cauliflower tofu ricotta i've done that before and that's really good you could definitely find ways to make this like a healthier recipe to meal prep throughout your uh week and enjoy but yeah enjoy my assembling At this point, I 
was about an hour out from anyone coming over and I started working on stuff that I was ready to cook and wanted to serve uh, hot or, you know, mostly hot, not store in the fridge or anything. So that was when I prepped my Brussels sprouts, which were super simple. I just oven roasted Brussels sprouts and some, some balsamic and you could see them on a plate there with those pretzels that I baked and the mushroom dipping sauce. And then my last step was to assemble my vegan charcuterie. I did two vegan cheeses, a miyokos and a Kite Hill garlic and herb spread, as well as some bitchin' sauce, a tapenade, crackers, cucumbers, craisins, some fruit, pita chips, the vegan crab cakes with the tartar sauce are on the table as well with the bruschetta. I just grilled up the bread for the bruschetta kind of while I was conversating with everyone. And then for the entree round, some of the big ziti obviously that I served with the side salad and the broccoli and it was delicious. And there you guys have it. Um, That is how my party went. Sorry it got I'm kind of short near the end. The second, like, the doorbell rang, I, like, forgot I was even filming. So I didn't get to get a good video or picture of everything. I actually got, like, no pictures, unfortunately. But hopefully the video um, showed enough. And if you're curious about anything, of course, leave a comment below. And um, there was a ton of leftovers. There was stuff I cooked that, like, I didn't even put on the table because, like, I saw people getting full. And, um... I just knew they weren't going to be, be able to eat it. So then I had to eat it all this week that I'm currently filming this. So if you're interested in that video, that's what's going to be next. How I used all the leftovers. But yeah, it turned out super well. Um, got a lot of the, I can't believe this isn't vegan um, comments. Or the, I like this better than the regular version comments. Which I was kind of surprised by, but it did happen. I'm not lying. Um, but yeah, so I'm so happy you guys watched, um, and in a way celebrated my birthday with me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!